when we lack control, such as of the pandemic, we look for other ways to gain control. This slide that you're seeing now is a picture of empty store shelves of paper products. The first couple of weeks after the pandemic hit the United States, people were flocking to grocery stores for paper products in order to gain some control over what they perceived as an uncontrollable event. I created an acronym to give everybody tips for how they can cope with COVID. And I'd like to re you to remember a couple of these tips. Control the things that you can not the things you can't. Open up, share your feelings with a friend, a family member, but don't keep them all bottled up. You need to share and get them out. Practice daily stress reduction techniques. And I'll talk about those further including physical activity. Physical activity, not only is it great for your physical health, it's also great for stress reduction, anxiety, and depression. Take short bouts, even five minutes throughout your days to just get a little physical activity in. Engage in mindfulness. Be here now. The two most wasted emotions that we spend so much energy on are worry about the future and guilt about the past. When you feel your mind starting to race into the future about things you can't control and worry about those, bring yourself back to the present moment. What are you seeing, feeling, hearing in the surroundings that you are a part of? Count your blessings daily. Even through this pandemic, we can find two or three things we're grateful for, people who we're grateful for. If we wake up every morning and count those blessings, you will see your mood improve. And we've got to be able to catch all the automatic negative thoughts we have, because there are so many that race through our minds every day. If we can get better at monitoring our thinking, catching those negative thoughts and turning them into positive, we will feel tremendously better. Well, nurses do a fantastic job caring for everybody else, but we often don't do a good job of taking great self-care. When we get on an airplane and the masks drop, we are told, put them on your children first before you put them on yourself. We've got to prioritize our own self-care. And I want to remind everybody, you can be a great person with a kind heart and still say no. We often tend to overcommit and we'll almost die, literally, trying to follow through with commitments. 
learn to prioritize to say no more so you can take better self-care. Mm -hmm.